Hey everyone, it's Kerri Ann and I'm back today with a review on some pens. So the pens I have today are the Royal Talons pens and they are the Ecoline pens. As you can see, I've got a good range of colours here. I bought the 15 pack, um, but they are available in 5, 10, 15, 20 and 30 packs. Um, you get a really great selection of colours. You do get different, um, like, of the same colour, you can get different shades, as you can see here. Um, but there's lots of different ones to, to have a look at, so it's well worth hopping online um, and having a browse. DevonArtSupplies.co.uk is obviously where I'd recommend getting any of your arts and crafts supplies from, so do take a look at Devon Art Supplies. Let's have a little look at one of the pens a little bit closer. So I'm going to pop the other ones to one side, and we'll just have a closer look at the pens. So they are a watercolour um, pigment inside, so I would say it's quite a liquid colour and I'll show you a bit more in depth in a second. The brush end is a lovely pointed brush end so you can get really lovely fine points um, and fine lines but you can also get a really good stroke of colour on as well. So if I just show you the lid does hop onto the end. Anyone who works with pens knows that's a really important factor for pens. I don't know why people make pens where the lids don't fit on the end, to be honest, because we just end up losing them and it's really frustrating when it dries out. So the lid does hop onto the end. This one is ultra marine, ultra marine deep. Um, so they are beautiful pens to work with and let's just have a closer look at why. So the card that I'm using today is watercolour card tags. Again, these are available from devonartsupplies.co.uk. Um, they're just fantastic to be able to have these small pieces of card in watercolour so I can do testing and then keep the swatches to the side so when I'm doing a piece I can check what colours I'm working with. So obviously that's when I work with the brushos. So for these I'm just going to show you really how the pens apply the colour and what you can do with the pens. So you can get some really fine teeny tiny teeny tiny dots. You can get some lovely fine lines with them as well, really nice and fine, but you can also go in much deeper just by stroking along the edge there of the pen as well. And what I'm going to do here is just a few strokes of the pen and then I'm just going to pop it there for you and I'm just going to fill my brush with water. Now this is just a graduate brush, number four, um, and I'm just going to pop the water on here and start to pull the colour towards the water. I'm using quite a lot of water, this card can take it, so it's just as good as any watercolour card that I would be testing on. So all I'm doing is just pulling that colour down and seeing what tones I can get, what lovely shades I can get with one pen. So as you can see it's working really well, it's reacting beautifully with the water. There's not too much of what I would call a, a line, like it's smudging out really nicely. What I don't like when I'm working with watercolour pens is when you get the line. So there is a very slight line, but it's not something that would put me off using them. So I get this lovely movement. So you can see when there's no water introduced, how strong and deep it is. And when the water is introduced, how you keep that beautiful colour, um, that beautiful shade, but you can move it around to create these beautiful shades. It's a really lovely smooth ink to work with, really lovely. So fantastic for applying in thin lines. Apologies, a customer has just come in. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, but it's actually taken nearly two hours to film this really short video because of the interruptions, which is really funny because um, the reason I started doing the videos again is because the shop was getting really quiet um, and um, a lot of the orders were actually coming in online. So we were mainly doing online orders, which I could do through the day um, and the shop was quiet. So I thought, right, okay, I'm gonna start doing videos again. And then lo and behold, as soon as I get the tripod out and start doing videos for you, the shop starts being busy every day. So anyway, back to um, the Ecoline pens. Um, just to recap, all I've done is shown you that you can do very fine lines and fine dots, really lovely thick lines, and this is what you can do when you pull, pull the colour out with the water. So they are fantastic in the way in which they work, but what I did want to show you was that if you leave these on, so this has been on now for at least five minutes, um, when you then try to move them around, um, yes, you can get the colour and you can pick it up and move it around and yes, you can smudge out most of the line But what you may find is if it has been sat on there for a long time is you might get some slight under shadows as you can see this side here um, But not too much to worry about I wouldn't say as, as you can see the more I'm working it and the more I'm moving it around It's not something that I would say is off-putting you can if you go dark enough You can move it around and get rid of that line pretty much completely so let's just keep moving and moving it and see if we can 
you can see there barely any of the line from here is showing underneath so that's a sign of a really good quality pen so I'm really pleased with how these pens work um, I would say they're fantastic for anyone who wants to use them in journals or artwork that you're going to scan in and print but what I wouldn't say is if you're thinking of using these for an original artwork that's going to go on display on the wall stop because they are not light fast so yes fantastic for anyone who creates works um, in journals or out and about doing plein air um, and wants something quick and easy to take out and about that produces fantastic colours brilliant for that but if you are creating original artwork you may need to think that these are not light fast therefore they won't be able to stand up to the uv rays i in fact tested this theory i created a piece of work and i put it out into the studio and in a week um, the colours had pretty much bleached out so they are really not good at standing up to the light but they're fantastic if you're going to then reproduce them um, so do prints and cards and things like that or if you're going to do your work and showcase it online so really lovely pens to work with as you can see great quality really lovely and smooth um, but just not light fast so that's the only downside I would say to these pens um, they do come in a great selection of colours um, as I said at the beginning so that's fantastic and they do blend well together so if I just bring in this really quick piece that I scribbled onto another of the cards I, you can see here that all I did was just apply two of the different colours and I'll just do it up here next to each other um, and they sort of smooth into each other because they are liquid can you see how they smooth into each other and that's without the introduction of any water so it's actually really lovely how they do this on their own without the introduction of water and then if you do introduce a little bit of water let me just clean the brush off um, you get an even lovelier smooth blend of the colors so once you have a set it actually opens up the ability to create a whole new range of colors to work with so that's without any water added and that's with water added same colors two very different looks so as I say, I'm really pleased with how these have been working um, and I would definitely recommend them as something to keep in your stash um, for any of your sort of watercolour work. Great for taking out and about, great for workshops, um, not messy, so actually really good for teenagers who are just getting into art as well. Uh, my children love them and I let them work with them because the um, brush end is actually really good at standing up to when you're pushing it and, and scribbling. Um, so they work well with children in that sense. Obviously, you will need to give your hands a really good clean afterwards because they're quite strong pigment. Um, but yeah, the only downside I would say that I could find to these is the fact that they're not light fast, so you can't create your original artworks and put them on display. But what you can do is create um, great pieces of art that you can then photocopy and scan and, and create cards and prints from. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this useful. Uh, this was a short review of how I find the Royal Talons Ecoline brush pens. As always, thanks for watching and do please subscribe to my channel. I hope to upload lots more videos um, reviewing and showing you what I do your day to day here at Devon Art Supplies in Seaton in Devon. Um, thanks again and catch you soon.